We got. What's this? Oh, my fault, y'all. We got CD in the champ, Ryuga, the undisputed go. You guys don't know Ryuga's from Beyblade. He's my favorite character. Him is Ryuga and Masamune. Those are my two favorite. Used to be Kiyoya, but you know, he, he's too serious. He's too uptight. But Masamune and Kiyoya, those are my two favorites. Masamune with the uh, antics and the jokiness and the goofiness, and Ryuga with the with the insults. So this and the horror, bro. Charges up a gallic gun and just yells at her. Enjoy retirement! So <laughs> CD chat. All righty, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I used to do this. Hey, Mary, I still. Uh, 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 uh. Speaking of Beyblade, y'all remember when y'all we used to Beyblade be be each other in recess time, especially indoor recess, bro. That's when it used to hit for real, for real. I tried to sneak the whole stadium to scoop my mom when I tried to sneak it in my bag so we can have Beyblade batters in indoor recess, especially when it's raining. Of 2024, and with this being the first trial of the year, we might as well start it off with a absolute king legend. So let's go ahead and get this started. Coming in around 5 8, when about 150 pounds of pure violence, ignorance, and destruction, he is the wielder of the Forbidden Bay El Drago. And that bay was OP, realize but I, I, I created my own bay though. I had the Pegasus, and I had some type of fire, some fire Beyblade, but I mixed it together, made fire Pegasus, the speed attack type. Undefeated every time. That Beyblade was that serious. One of the greatest menaces to ever do it, Ryuga. Yep. We well, all already know we got the evidence on deck. The ranking system is ready to tally, and he will be ranked in our new leaderboard system in our 2024 update. Yeah, okay. Yes, I know your eyes do not deceive you. The round table now has patch notes. So without further ado, Exhibit A. Lightning El Drago, the forbidden bay that feeds off of pure negativity such as fear, hatred, anger, and greed. <laughs> now, some of you are probably wondering, <laughs> well, CJ, how significant can this spinning top be? Well, what if I told you that the Roman Empire was built off the back of this bitch? Oh, that's right. That's right. I'm a restored. Oh, I'm not done. This has destroyed civilizations. You see, the show doesn't tell you this, but if you really think about it, the prominent leaders that have probably used this bay in the past. What the hell who's that? Why am I smiling Caesar, like that? Genghis Kong, Cleopatra, nigga, Napoleon probably used this bitch. And then here's some of y'all probably go, well, CJ, no way these world leaders could have been in this universe. Okay, why is Moses here? Checkmate, nigga. This bay was so demonic, they had to lock it away in the sacred bay village so nobody could ever Mariah, you touch got it, it again. Until the Dragon Emperor pulled up and stole it. And right off the bat, ladies and gentlemen, we're already getting into Ryuga's first charges. Breaking and entering and grand larceny. This man pulled up on some Indiana Jones type shit and decided to steal a national treasure with the power of a nuclear warhead. And look at him, he like, it's talking to me. <laughs> yes. Yes, I want to be the goat. <laughs> So for Ryuga's first fight, he ends up fighting Jenga's dad. And well, <laughs> you can't even call this a fight. Blow got moved in under a minute tops. Knocked the f out and posterized right in front of his child. Then look at his disrespect. After he knocks him out, he rips off his bandana and just starts cleaning his bay and just throws it down at him and just starts laughing at him. I should give this man a bonus point just off of that straight vile behavior and they just left this man to die in this boiling hot volcano crater it's supposed to be a whole kid show and jenga thought his dad was dead so a couple months passed. yeah he wasn't dead he just tried to hide from jenga so he can learn them for himself he said yeah you won the dad of the year award for that one did you <laughs> been healing in the healing chamber because El drago then gave this man a mean zenkai boost and jenga then came to come get his get back so ryuga sensed this man's presence and said huh? it smells like bitch in here and i kid you not this man blew up the entire building just to make his entrance bro made sure to get to the highest point just to make sure he asserted his dominance over jenga and ryuga just started talking immense amounts of shit he was telling him hey, Got it. Did I just kill your daddy like a month ago? 
Wow, man. Uh, oh, come on. That was uncalled for. But after Ryu, you gonna talk shit for a good five minutes. End up having the whole base stadium come up out the water so they can battle. But here's what actually makes this fight just wild. So at this point in the series, Jenga has pretty much yep, beat everyone. Yep. This man's like a good 15 and 0 right now. Straight undefeated. So Ryuga basically had to show him who was the fraud and who was the goat. <laughs> Cause this nigga Jenga got absolutely annihilated. I'm talking like straight embarrassed. Bro was getting knocked back multiple times. It got so bad, this man Doji just started glazing Ryuga the whole fight. Oh yes, Master Ryuga. Look at how so elegant and so graciously El Drago spins to the left. Oh, so sweet. Yeah, cause he's the forbidden, but his spin, his spin goes to the left. He spins left. And our other bays, all them other bays and weak bays go to the right. Did reverse rotation just takes my yep, reverse away. rotation. Oh my god, bro. Is dick riding all you do? No, I'm saying, <laughs> you literally got that nigga dick in your mouth right now. I see it. And this fight just kept getting worse. Look at him. Shuffling his shit. Cracking the nigga shit. Had this man jingle on his knees looking like he about to pray for forgiveness. And walk. Bro, he got mad too. No one seen Jenga angry. It's the first time he got angry. Jenga's on his knees. Ryuga basically told him, Wow, man. <laughs> you are ass. You might be more ass than your daddy. No wonder your mama left y'all. What did you say, nigga? You should kill yourself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this man, Jenga. Got That's not that he got the rage. No one ever seen Jenga like this before at this point. Hell, bro, got a whole rage boost. But this is where Jenga shot himself in the foot. Cause yeah, because like, Ryuga, because El Drago takes your, takes your energy and uses it against you. So. <laughs> you get the more power El Drago yep. gets because El Drago's just gonna absorb it. And you see, this makes a perfect duo because Ryuga is a troll. So the more he pisses you off, the more power he gains. Yep. So this fight was basically wrapped up. <laughs> Bro shoots a Gallic gun in the air and Kyle drives this man's bay into the ground. And it was all over. Pegasus cooked. Jenga cooked. Madoka about to make a bag because she knows she's got to repair this man's bay. And yep. ladies and gentlemen, Shout Madoka, the, she repaired all the bays. That's the start of the destruction. Because I'll be honest with you, that was just a prologue for this video. Now we are at Exhibit A, the greatest tournament run of all time. Ryuga's Battle Bladers run. Oh, yeah, Battle so Bladers, right. I'll tell you that. But before the tournament even started, look at his training regiment. This man has a total of 40 niggas surrounding him, and they have all been trained to master their bay type so these are not your run-of-the-mill scrubs these niggas are elite so all 40 of them shoot at him and this man shreds every single one of their bays and after he shredded them he wasn't even finished bro said nah nigga i ain't done yet Let it rip. <laughs> and sent every single one of them into the vortex and just like that this man just racked up 40 bodies now, I know some of y'all going to be like, <laughs> come on, CJ, they're not dead, nigga, be for real. No human being is surviving that. I don't give a shit if you're Prime Tyson or fucking Houdini. You're dead. This man's foot is Dang! Where's his foot? Where's his arm? Gone. That nigga is amputated. So yeah, argue with a wall. Kill count up to 40. So now it was time for the qualifiers. And you need a total of 50,000 bay points to make it to the tournament that's right the thing with jingo is i don't care about swan is bro it's like a thousand years old yeah he always he was almost at 50k but his dad his dad was put there's like this called himself phoenix and he took all of his points he was at zero so how did ryuga rack up all these points simple go on the tear of a century this man goes to a battle royale with 99 opponents he pulls up in his chopper doesn't even get out and obviously everybody is shook they don't want to fight the goat so they all decide to team up on him this man ben k <laughs> ben k ain't gonna do nothing bro everybody this nigga boomed the whole lobby this man soloed the whole lobby. He's a glaze. He, this this man, he was glazing him. Go. This man deserves all the glaze, all the dick riding. It don't matter. This man's run was so legendary. It was on ESPN more than Taylor Swift. This is Sports Center. Breaking news. This just in. Ryuga is going on an absolute tear right now. After recently defeating 99 bladers at once and just moments ago blowing up the entire stadium, we now have to ask the question is Ryuga the GOAT? 
Joining me now is not Skip Bayless and not Shannon Sharp. Uh, Skip, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you this right now. This man is a GOAT. Oh, Lord, here we go. No, 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 Skip, listen to me. I'm telling you, he's better than Jordan, LeBron, Kareem, Brady, Mahomes, Tyson, oh, Ali, oh, oh, Messi. Shannon, stop oh, it. Oh. Stop it. He's not that good. I mean, come on. He's using a forbidden bag. <laughs> and you see, Skip, this is why I can't fucking stand your ass. Because your ass be hating 24 fucking 7. <laughs> y'all, I'm not even lying to y'all. It got to the point where this man is winning at at least two tournaments a day. I mean, look at this. These two dudes right here are in the semifinals waiting to face Ryuga. Instead of letting them fight to see who was gonna face them, this he man said, came right, he came. I'm gonna pull up on IR, I'm gonna face y'all both. He <laughs> said, you know what? That's a waste of time. I might as well fight both of y'all niggas at the same time. Yeah, I'll face y'all both. guess how this went. Rutero, <laughs> boom. Random oh, nigga with the afro and the scouter on, boom. <laughs> They stood no chance. <laughs> then he walks up to him at the end of the tournament. Hey, he recruited him. him. He recruited him. He recruited him to the uh, uh, Dark Nebula. What do you want? Yeah, man, we already lost, bro. Back off. Yeah, y'all are premium trash. Garbage. Straight fucking elephant testicles. <laughs> also, I would like you to join my crew. What the fuck? So now it was finally time for Battle Bladers. And this is how you could tell how locked in Ryuga was. They are having the opening ceremony with everybody out here. This man is nowhere to be seen because he is in the locker room, just sitting in the dark fighting demons. You can tell exactly what he's thinking in his head. Oh yeah, I can't wait to fuck these motherfuckers. Oh yeah. So in the first round, Ryuga has to face Hikaru. And well, <laughs> In all honesty, this is probably the worst violation in the entire series. So Hikaru was walking out. All I mean, she when she everybody like when she first appeared on the thing, she was nice. But as the story went on, she got weaker and weaker. They did the same thing with Masamune. It's kind of like that for every blader. When they first appear on the scene, they're strong. But as they the story code goes on, they get weaker and weaker and weaker and weaker. Confident in everything. She really they come trash. What you? But her confidence was about to sink to the bottom of the ocean. So here come the announcer glazing. In her opponent, the gold Ryuga. You ready want to come out? Oh, you ready to come out. Sound of Cancun, Ryuga. Yeah, fuck that bitch up. I got the whole house on you, my glorious king. And look at this man walking out straight aura this girl was shaking in her boots no one talks like that in real life though they talk like that on twitter but not in real life even pull out or x but ryuga did not care bro said come on bitch time pull up dance. so they start in five seconds to the fight ball up top and he ends up telling her for having the balls to fight me i'm gonna send you on an all expenses paid trip to cancun so this man charges up a gallic gun and just yells at her enjoy retirement bitch <laughs> yeah, I, uh, we got some stuff to discuss. So let's he analyze the situation real quick. This man just blew a hole in the stadium, put this bitch in a coma, and that uh enjoy retirement line. Yeah, she married. She actually made. She actually made her go into retirement. She actually made her go into retirement. <laughs> she was working for uh, uh Jenga's dad after that. She actually, she actually was after her last Bay match. Her dad. <laughs> you went out sad, Carl. And joking. After this fight, Hikaru never picked up a Beyblade ever. No, no, no. She retired. And what makes this ten times worse? No. She made a promise to her sick mother that she would become the best blader in the world. So this man did not just crush her; he crushed her dreams, her spirit, and overall just her mental state. No, she got oh yeah, she got PTSD. Easily double points. Next up on the chopping block was Subasa. There were points for that. This is easy. Violation. Double points. Next up on the chopping block was Subasa. Subasa. The same record. thing. As he appeared in the story, first appeared on the scene where he was strong. But as the story went on, he got weaker and weaker and weaker. And with Ryuga before. His so ego. Game plan. And that was to run away like a bitch the entire fight. It got so bad, niggas was booing his ass. <laughs> <laughs> Parlay. So plan was to bait right you gonna use this special move and to give this man some credit he was technically the first person to ever stop this move it was, he was? a miracle but then Ryuga looked at this man and said wow impressive well, let's see if he could do that again huh so Ryuga <laughs> charged up another one then started to drain his soul to make sure bro did not get up a second time then just pile drive this bait this man Subasa was cut <laughs> 
We need to go out. To mention, the man destroyed the stadium once again. So that's another case of putting a nigga in a coma with property damage on the side. So next up was the battle of the dogs. Because this man, Kiyoya, yeah, Kiyoya. Only people do ever give this man a fight. But before the fight even happens, look how Ryuga asserts his dominance. This man blows up the stadium once again just because he felt like it. And also, since he blew up the stadium, this fight is a death match now. Because since the stadium's gone, there's no ring outs. So they start fighting. Kiyoya's actually holding his own, which is a rarity when it comes to fighting this nigga. But over time, Ryuga just started pressuring this man. Bro started to get flung. Like, look how bro hit that wall. Like, this man's spine has to be fucked. He probably gave him scoliosis after that hit. But Kiyoya was going blow for blow with bro. Well, they were bar for bar. Man for man. In a public domain. Like, I'm on all honesty surprised that most of these pedestrians at these damn tournament arcs do not die. Like, how one of these niggas not caught astray? And look at Kiyoya just getting blown the fuck up while they just cheering in the background like, yeah. <laughs> You really think about it, these motherfuckers are sick. They have been watching like 12 year old kids have a death match. So they both end up going in for their final attack and set off a nuke. But Ryuga ends up getting taken over by El right, Drago. Try to take over him. Drago. You know, Drago. Because he told Ryuga, because Ryuga using the energy that he beat from his other blades. And Ryuga, I mean, Kyoga told him, use your real energy, use your real strength, not these fake strength that you took from other people. He said, okay, fine. And that's when El Drago said, hell no, nah, I'm taking over you now. I go told that man, my time is over, little nigga. So this man charges up an egregious attack that made everybody evacuate the stadium again. And Kiyoya. <laughs> <laughs> this brother got annihilated. Dang, snatch his soul. Got impaled on a kid show. And bro just staring at him like, yeah, <laughs> weak ass niggas. Another nigga, another coma. So obviously Kiyoya's biggest glazer, Ben K, got mad as hell. Bro was like, ah, He gonna try to fight him. He gonna try to fight him. Like he gonna do something. How you touch my glorious King Kiyoya? So he's Kiyoya, old buddy, old pal. Kiyoya, old buddy, old pal. Look, look, look like he gonna do something. Kiyoya, old buddy, old pal. I still attack him. But Ryuka jumps up and tells him, Get out, Porky the Pig. And Ben K gets him. <laughs> and this is the second time he didn't got boomed. He got boomed in the battle royale. And just like that, this man made the finals and put all his opponents in comatosis. Oh, but <laughs> we can't forget what he did to the other opponents after their fights. Yeah. Now that well, that was in the crew battle called Dark Nebula. These are the people that was in the crew. If they lost Ryuga, they would they'll take Ryuga. They'll go one on one with Ryuga, and Ryuga would take their energy. That was associated with the Dark Nebula yep. in this tournament. Yeah, Ryuga boomed they ass after they lost. The bro just got a triple kill. Look at these two niggas on the ground over here. They already done got fucked up. It was probably so brutal they didn't even decide to show it. And bro wasn't even done. After this, he takes out the Afro nigga again. And also the crab nigga. He's a crab bro crab. Brutally assaulted seven dudes in the amount of 30 seconds. So they could basically become food for El Drago. Oh, but you thought he was done? No, no, no. He ended up catching this man. Doji lacking. Bro is beat up in everything. So Doji out here trying to save his ass like, ah, oh, Master Ryuga, my glorious king. Just so you know, I didn't get to beat up by anybody. But this man Ryuga did not okay. care. Bro said, nigga, you weak as shit. <laughs> so go ahead and make yourself useful and give up that ass. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. So Ryuga starts murdering his closest ally. Yeah, he broke his band, huh? Straight up takes his soul. This man, Doji, uh, let's be real, y'all. This man got his booty devoured. The fact that he dodged death right here is astonishing. He came back in uh, 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 Metal, Metal Masters and uh, Metal Furry. Now it was finally time for the finals. The greatest of all time versus the main character. Surely the goat wouldn't get robbed by plot, right? Oh my God. So them boys let it rip, and Ryuga's already coming in with the pressure. He's damn near pushing this man Jingo off the damn stage, and he's just eating every single special move he's getting thrown at him. Look at him, he uppercutted the shit out of his mate, and just slammed it into the ground, and he's just drilling it. So this fight already looks wrapped up. Ryuga already got a 3-1 lead, and is beating this man's ass. The finals trophy is his, but of course, the refs, I mean the- <laughs> the plot! 
writers coming to save the day yeah because here comes the power of friendship because all this man's friends are here on top of this building the script is trying to rob this nigga so obviously jenga gets an amp and it's somehow i need your energy lend me your energy oh lend me this your energy this is some bullshit. <laughs> i refuse to believe that this nigga is about to get 28 so my yuga's like oh hey now my legacy's on the line so my man charges up his gallic gun and he goes ahead and shoot it at him but this man jink is pushing it back ladies and gentlemen we're witnessing a robbery so then El Drago, El Drago takes over say okay takes you're over. too weak for jingo i need to take over your body i need to take over now i need control you and bro was not pleased bro said oh hell no nigga our legacy's on the line and you pulling this bullshit no. That's basically what happened. Yep, yep. No, El Drago, I control you. Oh, hell no. You about to lose. <laughs> so Jenga just started getting fresh. El Drago was whooping that ass. Bro had to save the legacy. Bro was pulling out every single move in the move list. Jenga was damn near close to getting packed. But then again, here comes a script writer saving the day. Yeah, the plot. Because Hikaru, Sabasa, and Kiyoya come to save Bruh. this nigga. Like, bro, what the fuck is the ref? Can we get a tag? Like bay interference or something? So they basically make this man's bay a spirit bomb. And yep. the fight ends up going to the stratosphere. And El Drago gets slammed. And Ryuga takes the first loss of his career. But Jenga saves him. <sighs> Tough times, man. It sucks when you see your goat lose, bro. <laughs> hey, but get this though. Ryuga may have lost, but Storm Pegasus had to retire. Blood said the lights were too bright. I can't do this no more. And Ryuga? That man picked up El He just Drago. walked away. Oh, then moved on. Gonna let these script writers hold me ever again. Yeah. I said, fuck going to Cancun. We going back to the lab. And ladies and gentlemen, that concludes Exhibit A. Yeah, uh, we're not done yet. Not even close, actually. And already with a whopping score of 161. That was just the beginning of this man's Yeah, that was just uh, that was just Beyblade on Metal Fusion, bro. You know, stuff that he did in Metal Masters and Metal Fort Furry. Legendary career. So, when will part two drop? You know what? To hell with it, bro. We'll do it just like we did with Shibuya Charles. Like the video, I'll drop this whole ne next week. And so until two. then, I bid you farewell. Shout out to Chief. CJ the champ. Hey y'all. Why not do part two? The king. Why not do part two? A legacy of greatness. CJ the champ. King came out. So then the king came out. So you would have to think. This man is the king of his village. So no way he could be. This is um we're in. Ma metal Masters now. Beyblade Metal Master. First one was Beyblade Metal Fusion. Now we're in Metal Masters. Right. 12 seconds later. <laughs> this is trash. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome That's back a drag on real to life? the Ryuga Trial. And ladies and gentlemen, we already know what's up. After the longest Exhibit A in roundtable history, and with a whopping score of 161, it is time to submit the legacy of the greatest nigga to ever wield a spinning top. So y'all already know we got all the rest of the evidence on there. My no favorite character, man. Made. My helmet, Masamune. Before they made Masamune weak towards the end. I don't know why they did that. Are you was the only strong and consistent one, man? Need a rock and roll. So without further ado, right? You and Kyoyo was acting fake strong. Like he would lose the drink every time, but act like he's tough or whatnot. This is Ryuga. He the one. Exhibit B. Yeah, already, ladies and gentlemen. I now present to you Exhibit B. Return of the. And I like Kyoyo too. It's just he's too uptight. You don't have no fun personality. He won't crack any jokes or nothing. Now, as we know, Ryuga. Ryuga at least Ryuga crack jokes in his insults. <laughs> first loss of his career off of some bush because we know in anime, the power of friendship is undefeated. Yeah. So you would have to think, usually and after the main antagonist the loses, it kind of fall off. I mean, it happens to the best of them. But Ryuga, shit. After this man lost, this man was straight back to the lab in a boiling hot volcano. And bro was serious about never getting hoed ever again. This man trained his ass off, overcame the dark power, and unlocked Meteo El Drago. And boy, oh boy, <laughs> 
nobody was fucking with this i'm gonna just go ahead and tell you that now so now we move on to italy and we have our sights set again on subasa now we all remember that bro got boomed and completely annihilated at battle bladers but get this bro did not just get put in a coma no this brother got emits ptsd the dark power literally infected bro you know what this is a whole point bro he literally transmutated a whole disease oh, right. yeah he got dirt in his disease nigga so infected subasa ends up pulling up on team excalibur and is straight up trying to murder them but while they're fighting they end up hearing something in the distance <laughs> oh did you all hear that bro you got it's the goat! And look at this nigga. This nigga is walking in with a meteor shower. And bro wasn't even done. He's he smiling too. His babe as a that man did a little. He was like, he kind of like young boy little. He kind of like young boy. And bro wasn't even done. He summoned <laughs> his babe as a meteor and just blew up the whole area, making a massive crater. This right here might be one of the greatest entrances of all time. But we ain't gonna forget the fact though that that is a massive amount of <laughs> damage, my nigga. Like this man was this close to probably starting the world's largest <laughs> wildfire. But look at him, bro did not come to play games. Dude immediately just starts to wreak havoc and sends these two flying. And he wasn't even done with them. Bro said, ah, El Draco, cut that nigga. And bro right here gets boomed. And the fact that he just watched these two with ease is just wild. Because Team Excalibur are basically the Euro League champions. That's right, and they beat Jenga and uh, Masamune. And he washed them in under 30 seconds. So Julian comes to save his teammates from getting thrashed anymore. And the thing is, Julian's bay has reverse rotation as well. And also, not to mention, this nigga is a elegant asshole. So why you can look that bro. Yeah, spoiled brat, bro. Spoiled rich kid. Ah, that's a nice toy you got there, buddy. Where'd you get that piece of shit from, Timo? I beg your pardon. <laughs> so why you can retracts his bay. And before he leaves, he tells him, Remember this, you pompous ass. There can only be one. One reverse rotation bay in this world, and it belongs to me, the GOAT! <laughs> so after that confrontation, this man travels to America, and he's somewhere just in the Grand Canyon. So these soldiers come up and tell him, Breathe! Put your hands in the motherfucking air, or we gonna boom your shit, nigga! And they got the red dot sights, the lasers, and everything. They look like they're really about to kill this man. But this confrontation is when Ryuga showed that he is on a different level than everybody else. I kid you not, this man laughed and threw out his oh, head. They let it rip. He just threw it out. He just threw it out and beat this all of them. Your hands. Is this nigga serious? <laughs> this nigga don't even need the launcher no more. And obviously the soldiers are pissed. <laughs> nigga, this is premium disrespect. This is the equivalent to bringing a knife to a gunfight. So they end up shooting at him, and their base keep on hitting his. But all that is just making El Dragon strong even faster, yep. and their impending doom more imminent. So yeah, it was over for them. All five of them get fired. <laughs> Yeah, them boys are dead. Let's be honest. Them niggas got baked. But a man in a hood ends up stopping his attack. And it is none other than Zesty Jack. Oh, yeah, Jack. Them dude, man, is Jack. It's a dude, right? It's a dude. He kind of reminds me of Freeze. I don't know why. But his name is Jack. He has a peacock as a bay. His bay is a peacock. So Jack ends up taking Ryuga to Haiti City and brings him to H. But he, you know, his. He got put in like a, 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 a simulator. So he's like an android. You know, the androids on Dragon Ball Z, he's like an android. He got all his powers through that little system that they run. In the, like in the uh, hyperjolic, hypopolic, whatever you call it, hypoholic, hypoholic chamber. The Academy, which is basically a developmental academy for bladers. And it is ran by none other than Dr. Ziggurat. So Ryuga mad as hell, because he came for the smoke and they wasted his time. And yep. also trying to do experiments on El Drago. Look at him, bro trying to kill Jack. Bro is lucky he was behind bulletproof glass. So they end up making him fight Zio, who is a literal bum compared to Ryuga. Yep. He's a bum, but he went to uh, HD Academy. And then they put him in that little hyperbolic chamber and that's when he became good. So they get to letting it rip, and Ryuga's already pushing them back. But to be fair, Ryuga did have to come over adversity in this fight. Because this man's bay was built so fucking awkward. Because he had this fat ass spinner stem. I don't know what the fuck that is, but it's fat as shit. And this man Zio talking shit too. Bro saying, ha, you can't beat my bixis. Not a chance in hell. Like, bro, do you know who the fuck? 
you're going against? Oh, Dylan Brooks ass nigga. So it took like a good, <laughs> good minute for why you gonna read, bro. Then he told him. Nigga, when my name come up, respect it. Huh? Stop playing with my name. I ain't gonna say it no more. So this man pulled out his new special move. And instead of shooting Gala guns, bro's now shooting Cruzums and blows this nigga's bay up and pins it in the ground. Nigga out here disrespecting the goat. Nigga, who the fuck you think you is, little bro? So this man, Dr. Ziggurat, ends up trying to trap this man, Ryuga, but they just pissed off bro even more. Nigga said, get me the fuck out this musty ass room. So bro blows a hole in the building. <laughs> but this man, Dr. Ziggurat, was on straight dick. Bro was like, oh, I need that man for my world domination. So later on that day, this man sends Zio and like eight soldiers to jump him in the park. And that's when Jenga catch him. That's when Jenga catch him. Jenga and um, Masamune. And Masamune try to fight him. And Jenga like, hold up, bro. Why are they surrounding him? Dumb, bro told him. Ah, can you niggas get off my dick? I can't even breathe. So all the soldiers end up shooting at him. All right, you could hit the Shadur on their ass. Bro said, look at the ice on my wrist, nigga. <laughs> and this man just caught another eight bodies. Look at them. Them boys ain't breathing. Hey, I mean, at least the family gonna have the full body intact for the funeral. Unlike that other nigga right. from the oh, yeah, yeah. training regiment. So now... And welcome back to this... See, you're saying you use Grammarly? I know you use Grammarly. Sponsored by... Now we move on to the World Championship. And at the moment, Team Japan is cooked. Masamune got his arm broke. Tsubasa... And by Zio, because you know him and Zio are friends. But... Mass Munya left because he's from America. Mass Munya left America to go to Japan to face Jenga. And he also became friends with him. What did you do? Zio was mad at Mass Munya for leaving. Boom, before the That's their backstory. Started, so they had this man Jenga about to carry the whole team. So Jenga would have to face Zesty Jack next. But a meteor ends up coming in. And this man Ryuga ends up pulling up. So remember what you promised me? Because cause, uh, 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 Ryuga, wanted to, cause Ryuga wanted to face Jack. Remember back when Jack Burke like blocked his signature move against all them uh, uh minions and whatnot? He said, I wanna face you. You were like an opponent worth facing. Yeah, Jack said, nah, wait till my bay is finished, then I'll face you. So his bay is finished, and Ryuga came in and said, Remember what you promised me? Remember what you promised me? You said you'll face me when your bay is is fine, huh? You say you face me when you, when your when your bay is ready, huh? Your bay looks ready now, huh? Your bay looks ready now. Face <laughs> Sweet, that's basically what it is. I actually feel so bad for her. She really got PTSD from this nigga. Bro said, y'all gonna have the world championship without me? <laughs> Bitch, suck me in. No, 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 that's not it. That's not it. No, no, he got that story wrong. He got that story. I just told you the story. He promised him a match. Jack promised Ryuga a match once his bay was ready. And his bay is ready. So right here comes Ryuga. <laughs> Remember what you promised me. Once your bay is ready, you gonna face me one-on-one. -on -one. You can't dodge this smoke, buddy, boy. I'll cook this blue lipstick zesty motherfucker in a heartbeat. So Ryuga and Jack end up starting to fight. And this man, Jack, is batshit crazy. Not even gonna lie. Go, 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 this go, man was go, like, go, 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 go. I can't wait to turn you into a work of art. You've got my creative juices running, thy nigga. This nigga is crazy. So this man, Jack, pulls out his uh, peacock, peacock and shoots an attack at him. But Ryuga stood there unfazed and El Drago completely ate it. But Jack did not let off the pressure. Bro just started to push Ryuga while he was carving his art in the stadium. Like, look, bro, you a bitch. Like, fuck wrong with this nigga. So this man tries to finish his work <laughs> by trying to drill El Drago into the eye. And it looked like he almost had this man. El Drago was slowing down and everything. But Ryuga had this man. He just took his power. Like, he was just taking his power, bro. Right where he wanted him. El Drago just starts going berserk. Ryuga tells him he wasn't even trying the whole fight. So yeah, it was time to pack up Zesty Jack. So bro charges up his Dragon Emperor Supreme Flight and strangles the fuck out of that peacock. peacock and incinerates it. And to finish off that man's work of art, Ryuga shot that man's bay into the peacock's eye. And this man Jack lost. Voila! His mind, bon appetit. Bro. He was like, no, no, my work of art, my Mona Lisa. Bro, you're an android, bro. You got your powers from a hyperbolic, hypertolic chamber, bro. It doesn't count. You're not, uh, you're not, right. now you're, you're trash. It was not you ain't done. legit. He looked at this man, Dr. Ziggurat, looking yep. all safe and shit in his skybox, and shoots his bay and stars him with the glass. This man, Ryuga, told yeah, him. Yeah, he's the go. Yeah, that's why he's the go. That's why he's my favorite character, bro. My dick, nigga. And after this, they won the tournament. So Ryuga technically. He helped. Yeah, he technically helped. He, because he wanted, he just wanted to fight on Jack. Because Jack promised him a match. But it, it 
managed to help Jenga in the long run. So, what do you do? He said, I ain't come here to help you, Jenga. I just wanted to beat Jack up because he promised me. Now he brought me a match. Champion, or just walked in the middle of the championships and left with a ring. So after the world championships, Dr. Ziggurat basically reveals to the entire world that he's a terrorist. And Hades City is a literal flying nuke. And this man is a whole arms dealer. He's trying to sell it to the country with the highest bid. And come on, we know who's going to buy that. <laughs> so while Hades the greatest is nation there is. And is about to terrorize the world, Ryuga is just looking at it from the distance. And my God, this got to be this man's wildest feat. This man Ryuga said, fuck you, fuck your city, fuck your nuke, and fuck Skypea. Because I'm about to make this bitch Atlantis. So this man shoots El Drago and blows up the damn core. And look at this nigga Ziggurat. <laughs> My favorite! My favorite! Ripped the entire city and that hole just started going down. It was GG's for that whole city. They got lucky they even landed that hole to get everybody off the island. But yeah, technically, bro sunk this whole island. So this is property damage to the absolute max. This ain't no gotta be like a, a, a plus 10, bro. He, him, this uh, the city was in the air, bro. The city was flying in the air. He just made it sink. That's a whole yeah, 50. 50 points, yeah. He just made that joint sink, bro. Exhibit C. Yeah, alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. I now present to you our final exhibit, a legacy of greatness. We now set our sights to a remote village on a island that has experienced recent events of terror. As Jenga and his friends are searching for legendary bladers, they come across this man. Oh yeah, that's, that's, now it's Metal Fury. Now it's Metal Fury. Recounts what happened. To First it was Metal Fusion, then it was Metal Masters, now it's Metal Fury. It's the last one. Village. In his words, he states, About two weeks ago, a man came here looking to infiltrate our sacred ground. He started to speak, but none of us could understand him. I beg your pardon. But then our village elder ended up realizing that he was speaking the ancient language of Gotanese. He then forced himself into our ancient ground. And now the volcano that we thought was asleep for years started to awake again. We angered the dragon god. So we got on our knees and glazed him for forgiveness. So yeah, if you can't tell who this is by the villagers recount, it is most definitely Ryuga. They thought this man was a literal god. Like they was on their knees glazing. Oh, glorious king Ryuga, please spare us. Oh, yo, this is ridiculous. First of all, he gets a point for breaking and entering on a sacred ground. And secondly, another one for terrorizing these villagers and basically having them in a hostage situation. So Kiyoya and Benke end up climbing the volcano and finding him. And obviously Kiyoya, Kiyoya wants to fight him, yep. Yeah. Smoke demon he is, decided he wanted his rematch. That ass kicking from last time wasn't enough. So they start fighting and it is just absolute chaos. While Ryuga is going absolutely berserk. And not gonna lie, you can probably guess what happened after this. Yeah. Kiyoya started pressuring him for a bit, but that shit ain't working. Because Ryuga Tada has a new bay again. El Drago destructor. So Kiyoya gets absolutely blasted. Like this man got cooked. Ryuga made again. this man unconscious again. And of course, here come Benke. <laughs> Kiyo yo, buddy, yo, pal. Kiyo yo, buddy, yo, pal. My glorious Pookie Bear Kiyoya. So after Kiyoya gets boomed, guess who's next up on the list? Jenga. Jenga. Bro was trying to convince Ryuga to join them on their quest. But this man did not care at all. Yeah, <laughs> but he said, what the fuck? You beat me. He said, no, you beat me again. I'll join. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut the fuck up. Whip out your bay and show me that you ain't a fraud, nigga. So they start fighting and Jenga starts getting blasted. Bro held nothing back against this nigga. And he just kept on yapping at him. Come on, pussy boy. Show me that that ring that you want against me wasn't some Mickey shit. So Jenga starts pushing back. But Ryuga said, no, 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 not today. R.P. So Matumbo. Drago swaps modes, says, get the fuck off me. Then Ryuga said, to hell with it. And blows up the volcano. And there it is. Game set. The main character was cooked. And Ryuga did what many other characters couldn't. Take the set over the main character. And look at him. He did? One on one? Oh, that's right. Yeah, two on one. That's right. Yeah. I knew you were a fraud. That fucking Mickey ring. Your friends weren't here to save you this time. Buddy. There's some other dude named. I forgot the dude name. He's like a nerd. He tried to challenge Ryuga. And everyone started laughing at him. <laughs> everyone started laughing at him.
Fred little laughing little at him. He's about to leave. This other little boy yep. trying to fight him. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. I'm already laughing, but this shit is embarrassing. <laughs> this real nigga got this shit rock. Then look at him. Bro, Charles to get up with a whole power up and everything. But why you go look at blood and said, man, nigga, fuck out my face. <laughs> hey, man, I guess at least he tried. <laughs> <laughs> so just casually body the main cast later. Oh, well, he's talking about Peach. I did a chat. I ain't know he's talking about Peach. Oh, I met them. Meet the video. I'm trying to get some off my screen real quick. I'm off my keyboard. Get some off my keyboard. On. This man heads to the Sahara Desert to a village that's having his annual tournament. So here's the announcer hyping up their strongest dude. Ladies and gentlemen, we all love him and know him. Our village's strongest man, Sir Nando! Who? And his opponent, a random traveler that just came here a day ago. Wait, wait, wait a minute, uh, is that who I think it is? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's the and this whole tournament was just Go the, easy, the strongest dude in the village. One shot. This big ass Sam Sulek built nigga got booned. And he wasn't the only one. Because every other opponent got one shotted. Nobody stood a chance. Mm -mm -mm. So then the king came out. So you would have to think. This man is the king of his village. So no way he could be sorry, right? 12 seconds later. <laughs> Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, y'all need to hold a new election after that one. So then the final opponent of this tournament was Kenta in his big ass soccer ball ass head. Bro, I hated Kenta, bro. He was just annoying that one annoying character that wouldn't go away, bro. I'm like, God, damn, bro, go away! Dang, you're not good! Well, you'll get good at the end. You'll see how. Every time I see this little nigga with his big ass head, I just want to punt him. And That's yeah, what I'm uh, saying, bro. Waste some time on this. Kenta joins the rest of the main cast. Ooh. Gets made a statistic on this man's record. So after Kenta got boomed, he ended up following Ryuga trying to go on a journey of self discovery. Yep, yep, to uh, uh, join Jenga. <laughs> to try to convince him to join Jenga. And he um, wanted to challenge him so he can join Jenga. Like he said, like Ry Ryuga said, if y'all beat me, I'll join Jenga and help make the uh, legendary players or whatnot. So you, this man gets scared and when I start following him like a creep. And while they on the middle of their journey, they end up getting confronted by a tiger. But this man Ryuga was not phased. Mm -mm -mm. Bro walks up Remember this. and mean mugs the tiger. He had bro shook. And yep. look at Tony the tiger made the run. right decision to run away. And They're run great! Because bro would have not been eating no more frosted flakes. His ass would have became a pelt. So after this, Ryuka <laughs> ends up entering another battle royale because apparently there's a legendary blader at the top of the tower. So it starts. I remember Ryuka this one. I remember. I thought I could say I'm gonna spoil it for you. There was no legendary blader. It's just a fake one. They made. They made one up. It was the fake one. Nobody's running. This man doesn't even move. Uh, he's just standing there. Menacingly. So he waits for <laughs> yep. like a good 10 minutes. So when the final 11 are up here battling, this man decides to blow a hole in the tower and just knock out all 11 of them. But he wasn't done yet. He had to face two boss in the finals. And I'm not going to lie to you. This one might be worse than the last time they fought. This shit lasted for one minute tops. This man pulls out a new special move and sends his bay to the mountains. Damn! Look at Subasa! Bro, he's <laughs> he can't like, believe oh. it. Bro, you saw what happened last time? Wait, I'm getting that back. Man, I fell down to my knees when the law came. So after he sent Subasa's bay to Kingdom Come and made him take a hike, he tells the legendary blader to bring your ass out here. So bro comes out and he's like, wait! Please, please, please! I, I, I'm not no legendary blader. Yeah, it's a fake. I told you it's a fake one. I, 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 I'm a fraud. Is this nigga serious? So this man Ryuga was pissed off. Yep. Bro went over to his bay and, and stomped, stomped it. it. And Blood said, I don't like my time to be wasted, nigga. And this man just destroys the entire tower. This man does not get tired of property damage. And then after he blows up the tower, look at the old dude crawling out the thing like, oh, never sign me up for this ever again. <laughs> so after this man just destroyed <laughs> It's like they forced him to be a fake, the fake legendary blader. The tower of Babel. Next up was Easter Island. Bro decided to participate in another battle royale. And look, people ain't even fighting him. They just cowering in fear and pissing they draws because they know it's pointless. But one man decided to fight him, and that was Goku. <clears throat> I mean, aka. <laughs> Goku tried to fight him. You don't got no baby.
was pointless. But one man decided to fight him, and that was Goku. <clears throat> I mean, aka King. King. I didn't mean Goku. King, he's cool. I like him too. But not as much as I like Ryu. Yeah. As a joke. No, look that nigga. That's right. The glaze is crazy. So you gotta think to yourself. Surely a Beyblading Super Saiyan can take him down, right? Man, shut your bitch ass up. Everybody ask you a bitch ass thing. You better shut the fuck yeah, he was uh, he can really and his bay is a bay that can rotate both the ways left and right I don't know what to say this has cleared the whole verse. and he's a and king is a legendary blader literally so there was only one person that could actually take this man down and it was no simple mortal oh no this man's final battle is a oh, god. god yeah it's gotten to this point I mean, no mortal can hang with the nigga, so why not a god? So he starts fighting Rago, and guess who's dick eating Rago? Hello, Doji! I told you you're gonna show back up. Right, you guy? As you can see, I found another man to glaze. Like, this nigga just hopped off dick and just went to bandwagon somebody else. <laughs> so in this fight, Ryuga was going out with everything. Bro was just throwing nukes. But over time, Bro started to get his ass beat. Nemesis just started destroying this man. Like, this is literally the first time you ever see this nigga with battle scars. Yep. And this man, Doji, over here talking shit. Oh, yes, look at you on the ground like a worm. My God, how in the hell did I ever dick eat you? But this man <laughs> was not about to go out. Bro, stop! No this man got up, had a legendary ass yap session, powered up. And I am Ryuga, even my opponent is a gun. I'm going to lose to the likes of you. His last attack and end up having a massive clash. And the shockwave ends up hitting this man, Doji. And, and knocks him down to like a pit. And falls to his death. Bro said, if I'm going out, I'm taking you with me, you fucking dick eater. But sadly, after that, this man Ryuga was cooked and broke his hip with just straight Armageddon. And Ryuga takes the second loss of his. Yeah, he had to use his real power. That's a plus right there. He ain't made a guy use his real power a little bit. Career. Well, I mean, at least it was to a god of destruction. Well, you got going points to what he did after. After we know when Kenna was following him or whatnot, Kenna became stronger. And he made Kenna, he, Kenna made him serious for one second. And he kept his promise. He, he gave him the power of his bay. You know, to be able to beat him. Thanks to Jing and the plot and whatnot. That's, and that's ladies plus. And gentlemen, that will conclude the Ryuga trial. And after a very long week, I'm not going to lie, I'm about to go to sleep. So, uh, appreciate y'all. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'll update the whole leaderboards and everything. That's plus. Thing later, bro. But until we meet, <laughs> I'm not this hoe. So, I'll see you later, champ. Ryuga, my favorite character.